Hi guys, I'm back again today with another haul and this is the last haul of my Christmas sales shopping. So I'll start with the stuff that I got from Lush. So Lush had half price off most of their Christmas line and a few bath bombs and things that were sort of near their use by date or are being discontinued when I went in at the start of January. So the first thing I got is the only thing that wasn't discounted and it's the tea tree toner. And this is my second bottle of it and I'm not entirely convinced that toner actually does anything but I quite liked this product the first time I used it and I just kind of like using it even if it doesn't do anything. So that was $8. So all the rest of the stuff is discounted. The first thing I got is the Captain Bubble Beard Bubble Bar which is the one that's shaped like a moustache. And I got this for $4.50, which was half price. And it smells really nice, and I think it'll be lots of fun to use. So I'm happy that I picked that one up. The next thing I got is the Cinder's Bath Bomb, and that's the one that has um, popping candy in it. And it's meant to sound like a crackling fireplace when you put it in the bath. And I got this one for $2.60. I think was really good and I don't take a whole bunch of baths in summer but in a couple of months it'll start cooling down and that's when I take heaps of baths so I'm really looking forward to I'm glad I stocked up on this stuff while it was half price to use in a couple of months next thing I got is the golden wanda bath ballistic which is the one that's shaped like a present it's got a cute little bow on the top and it um, rattles when you shake it like a present would and this one was 350 and it smells really nice as well. They all smell amazing. That's what I love about Lush. The next thing I got is the last thing from the Christmas line. And it's the Santa's Sack Bubble Bar. Which is the one that this is bubble bar. And then you get two little bubble bars inside. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you can pull that one out. Pull both of them out and use them separately. And that was 350 as well. And the last thing I got is the only one of these things that I've used before and it's the dragon's egg bath bomb and this is really cool it changes color and a couple of times actually and it's got confetti and stuff in it and it's quite a fun bath bomb and that was three dollars so that's all the stuff I got from Lush I got three bath bombs two bubble bars and a toner for $25 which I think is amazing because I love Lush products but they are quite expensive so all that was on sale and I'm really happy with that and so now I've got my stuff from fortune cookie soap and um, if you saw my video about the winter soap box I got a $10 fortune cookie soap voucher in that box and I figured I would use it during their sale so the first thing I got is the sugar scrub in Stuff My Stocking. There we go. And I just use this in the shower on my legs mostly and it works really well. You just scrub it around and it leaves your skin feeling nice and soft. I've only used it um, a couple of times. So I'll get, well, you know, if it turns out to be awful, I'll give you an update, but I really like it so far. And this smells like tangerine and pine but sort of it's quite sweet as well it's a really difficult scent to describe but that's how they've described it so I'll leave it at that the next three things sorry price this was half price so it was $5.88 and this is still available on the website at the discounted price so I'll link that below next thing I got are three of the hand sanitizers these were all $1.45 each first one is Tangle in the Tinsel which is a pretty pink one and it just smells like sugar I think they said pink sugar and cola but to me it just smells sweet it actually kind of smells like the um, the fairy floss super duper icy poles if you know what I'm talking about the um, the pink icy poles that's what it smells like sweet really nice next one I got is candy cane fluff and it this scent is like really hard to describe it smells sort of like mint and a little bit marshmallowy and it's yeah mostly mint but not like gum scented mint like a different kind of mint it's really hard to describe I'm so sorry I'm really bad at describing scents but yeah sorry all this stuff is from the Christmas line which is why it was discounted and then this is stuff my stocking which was the same scent as the um, sugar scrub 
so pine and tangerine again and that was all that I was going to get because that was all the sale stuff that I wanted um, but shipping is quite expensive from fortune cookie soap it's about $19 to Australia and I was sort of um, wanting to get more bang for my buck if I was going to be paying $20 shipping I was gonna include a few more things so they have a um, whipped cream sampler pack for ten dollars so you get four little samples you choose which scents you want um, and I tried one of the whipped creams which is their body butter what they call their body butters um, in the winter soap box I had pinch of Grinch which is the most amazing scent but they'd sold out of that when I went to the sale site so I thought I'd pick up a few other ones so three of these are from their winter Christmas line and then one is part of the permanent permanent collection um, so yeah it was ten dollars or four so the first one I got is called baby it's cold outside and it, this one smells like chocolate and also kind of like marshmallows and it's not marshmallow yeah a little bit marshmallow but also a little bit orangey so it's sort of like chocolate orange but it's much more chocolatey than it is citrusy so I mean I don't mind that scent but it's definitely more of a winter scent so I'll probably save that till then next one I got is snow bunny and this one is really hard to describe it's they say they what did they say they said peppermint leaves and sandalwood with a little bit of vanilla and various other things and it's yeah it's quite a cool scent it's um, not particularly strong but it's quite nice I like minty notes bad at describing scents and the next one I got is snow day which is delicious I'm just gonna smell myself to remind remind myself it's a mix of cinnamon and pear and it's delicious I want to eat it it's just amazing the cinnamon can be quite an overwhelming smell I think some of the time but with the pear it keeps it really light and fresh and sort of fruity and it's amazing and I really like that scent the last one I got is the permanent collection one and it's called in the loop and this smells like fruit loops it's a really pretty pastely purple color and it smells like fruit loops it's if you opened a packet of fruit loops this is exactly what it would smell like I have no idea how they managed it but it like it is perfect it smell wow uh, it's ridiculous so yeah um, I'm really happy I got those because I find they're the lightest body butters I have ever tried I don't like really thick body creams and these are amazing you use a tiny amount they sink in so quickly they smell really nice um, and they just moisturize really well the one thing I will say though about in the loop is the only one that I've tried fully on my um, body and the scent didn't linger for ages whereas I found with pinch of Grinch I could smell it all day or for most of the day as I was walking around but I didn't find that with in the loop but that's okay it still smells really nice so that's all the stuff I got so I had $20 worth of products and then I used my $10 voucher so I only paid $10 plus shipping so it was $30 for all of that but I'm really happy with that because they have so many unique scents that you'd never be able to find anywhere else it's a bit of fun so the last thing is typo and I've just kind of chucked it in the end here because I've just got a few bits and pieces. It doesn't really fit with the sort of bath and body nature of the first part of the haul but that's alright. So the first, this stuff is actually from before Christmas I think. I've been holding on to it for a long time. So they had $2 Christmas wrapping paper. So I chose their two least Christmassy patterns. This one's red and it's just got white hearts that sort of look like doilies on them which I thought was really cute and again I don't think it's particularly Christmassy I think I could use that anytime and the second roll that I got is this one it's green with little it's like a pastely green with little white squares like a crossword type pattern which again I think I could use anytime I just thought it was really cool next thing I got is my diary for this year it's quite small it's A6 and I normally go for A5 but I really like it, just black and white polka dots. I've obviously already started using it. 
but it's got month view at the front and then just weekly view throughout and it's got heaps of space to write which I really like and I think this was three or four dollars because it was 50% off and the last thing I got are some notebooks for uni I don't need any more notebooks for uni because I <laughs> have four or five typo ones sitting there ready to use but I saw this notepad and I thought it was the most beautiful thing and I had to have it. It says adventure is out there, the picture is beautiful, the font is really nice and this notebook was $7 and Typo often has I think 3 for 10 with their notebooks so I figured if I was going to pay $7 for one I may as well get three and then get it for 10 So my second one was this one, I just really liked the font and the colour. And then the third one was this one, which has sort of like an illustrated look to it. And I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, I got those three for ten. And that's the end of my haul. I hope you're all having lovely days. And that you've enjoyed seeing what I got in the Christmas sales. Excuse me, my phone's going off. Um, I'll probably be... Blah, blah. I'll probably be back with another haul soon-ish. Because I've started a new job and I've been working heaps. And there's a few bits and pieces which I've been hoping to pick up with my new paycheck. So that'll be coming up soon. And I'm also going to do a makeup storage collection type video. Because I've just recently reorganised and I really like how it all looks. So that's everything I have for you today. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!